Seriously, Gordon Ramsay is awesome, but even potty mouth bosses make mistakes. And here they are. Are you a fan of Gordon Ramsay? Subscribe to our channel. Not a fan? Subscribe anyway, and don't make a mistake and forget to hit that gray notification bell. Gordon Ramsay vs. The LA Review When Besha Rodell, reviewer for The LA Review, sat down at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant cleverly named Fat Cow, she was probably expecting food worthy of the Ramsay reputation. But that's not what she got, and she was very vocal about her disappointment. The review is riddled with sarcastic rhetorical questions that sums up her experience. How do you think it went? How about we let these questions answer that? How was the fish? Who knows? All I could taste was glop. Ouch! Not exactly the glowing review you'd want for your restaurant. She also laments the fact that her burger featured some plasticky cheese and that her fries were doused in truffle oil. If you're a fan of Ramsay, then you'll know that this is an insult. Ramsay himself considers truffle oil to be beneath him. Granted, Ramsay may not have cooked that exact plate of food for her, but she had this unfortunate experience at a restaurant with his name on it. Look, if you make a decent living off of fixing other restaurants, shouldn't you make sure that yours are up to the standard you're preaching about? Roasted It seems like Ramsay isn't having a good time in London either. A few nasty surveys have poked their heads up and have ranked some of his highest rated London restaurants as having disappointing food and being overpriced. We all know that you have to fork out a massive amount of money for his food, and he has earned that right through all his hard work. But his celebrity status does not allow for bad food. Look, if we're going to a Ramsay restaurant, we are usually going to expect two things from the experience. One, a few decent selfies to post on Instagram so that our friends will think that we hang out with famous people. And second, some out-of-this-world food. But from what the people on these surveys are implying, we think we'll only get one of two things we came for. But then again, Gordon defended himself by saying that the surveys were highly biased. We think we'd take the risk for Ramsay. Why do we have such a fascination with this man? Or rather, is it a fascination with other people's pain? Probably both. Let us know in the comments section. Plain food. Hands up. Who hates plain food? We do. We also hate how hungry we get high up in the air, which then forces us to eat the terrible food. Ramsay understands this though, so he came up with the idea to sell his food to people at airports so that they don't have to eat plain food. Anyway, he named his restaurant Plain Food, which is so subtle that it's genius. The restaurant, which is stationed at Heathrow's Terminal 5, has been slammed with bad reviews though. People have lamented about the poor service and the high prices. But worst of all, the bad food. At which point do we wondered, did this all become very ironic? Ramsay's goal was to eliminate the need for plain food, but the restaurant seems to be as bad as commercial plain food. So is the concept cursed? Or should Ramsay spend more time monitoring his current restaurants instead of constantly opening new ones? We might never know. Cockroach Maze there is one word that strikes fear into the heart of every chef. No, not rats, cockroaches. Those little nasties get in everywhere. They poop on your shiny new equipment, they multiply faster than your customers, and they leave behind this rancid smell. Worst yet, they die, and their decaying bodies and waste ends up in your food. You know where you'd expect to find cockroaches? That dodgy sushi counter at your local gas station. You know where you don't expect cockroaches? At Gordon Ramsay's Michelin-starred restaurant, The Maze. The restaurant, which received a five star hygiene rating previously now received a two star rating which must have been a devastating blow for the restaurant if you're paying 165 euros for a set menu with wine pairings you kind of want the kitchen to be clean right we're guessing that a few people deeply regretted visiting the restaurant after that the food may have been great but what was lurking in it Ugh. gordon ramsay versus aa gill you know who's a fan of Ramsay? We are! You know who isn't a fan of Ramsay? A.A. Gill. Gill is a reviewer for the Sunday Times and is famous for his sharp and forthright reviews. He's kind of like the guy in Ratatouille, you know, the guy with the long nose and who always wears black? Hold on. Googling it. Ah, yes. Anton Ego. So think of Gil as Anton Ego and Gordon as the rat, just with more swearing and without the underdog storyline. Gil described Ramsay's Chelsea eatery, Foxtrot Oscar, as having a bland, tacky makeover in several subtle shades of cold corpse, and the menu as a collection of safe and unexciting constructions. We feel like this was unnecessarily harsh. We can't vouch for the menu though, because our idea of fine dining is ordering extra large fries with our burger. So we'll just let those two have at it. Oh, and did we mention that Ramsay once had Gil thrown out of his restaurant? Fun times, you guys. Fun times. Gordon vs. Jan Moir 
Jan Moir is a critic who called Ramsey's pub, The Warrington, lacking in consistency. We don't really keep up with the critic jargon, and we're sure you don't either, so we'll break it down for you. On her first visit to the pub, which is like a bar where you can get food and alcohol, she described the experience as a notch above superb, which is high praise. But then, by her third visit, she said that her opinion of the pub deflated like a bad souffle, which is not glowing praise. This is all very disappointing and all, but come on, why go to the pub for food in the first place? We're not sure how things work overseas because we might be woefully uncultured, but if you want to have a proper idea of his cooking, why not go to one of his Michelin-rated restaurants? That doesn't excuse bad food, though, so we see her point. Onwards! Bad Thai what is your favorite food? That's such a difficult question to answer since each dish has a good quality. For example, Pad Thai is loved because it manages to be sweet, spicy, and sour at the same time. It is such a curious combination that works so well. In fact, that unique combination is what we've come to expect. When Ramsay tried his hand at making the dish at the Blue Elephant restaurant, though, the head chef wasn't impressed. He said that Ramsay hadn't hit the right sweet, sour, and salty notes. We know Ramsey loves dishing out criticism. He has a show where he fixes other people's restaurants, for goodness sakes. But we have to say that he took the criticism well. He did get the last laugh when a Buddhist monk tried his pad thai and liked it. So there's that too. We guess bad food is a matter of opinion, and unless a celebrity chef actually burns the food or straight up pours an entire bottle of salt over his food, we aren't going to be able to tell whether or not the food is actually bad. Oh well. TripAdvisor Blunder Gordon Ramsay's steak belongs to Gordon Ramsay and is one of his more famous restaurants. People flock there to catch a glimpse of the foul-mouthed chef, and you never know if your food might actually have been cooked by the man himself, which is enough to draw even the most apathetic fans to his restaurant. It is this fact that makes bad reviews such a sad story. One couple experienced such a bad time at the restaurant that they felt the need to voice their legitimate concerns on TripAdvisor. The customers described it as the worst restaurant ever and complained about the service. They relate how poorly they were treated by the staff, which is one of Ramsay's pet peeves. They even went on to say that the food quality was much worse than the food you'd expect at a pub, kind of of ironic. They reserved a table but were bounced around the restaurant like a bunch of pests and found themselves cringing at their food. This is worse than embarrassing, it's concerning. Boring Food Jay Rayner is another famous food critic who had a less than stellar encounter with Ramsay's food. Now, we have looked at scathing reviews and sad, honest reviews. We have seen everything from gleeful to disappointed. But what Rayner experienced may be infinitely worse than anything we've spoken about yet. He says that the worst part of the experience was going home and not having a single thing to write about. He was stumped. He was bored. He couldn't think of a single interesting thing to say about the experience. He then goes on to rant about how other chefs change their menus, but that Ramsay sticks to the same menus he's always had. It's good food, but it's all the same as what he served in the 90s. That's not to say that Rayner was unfair, because he said some very nice things about Ramsay, which means that the review was unbiased. We think that makes it even worse. Bad Burger it seems like you should avoid Ramsay's restaurants in Las Vegas for a little while. Gordon Ramsay's burger has received more than its fair share of reviews. All the reviews have a lot in common, and they all give the restaurant the same rating. B for bad. Look, these reviews should be taken with a pinch of salt. But since they pop up on respected review websites, they should be taken seriously. Ramsay is a great cook and is like cooking royalty. He has done a lot for the restaurant scene in London and is very entertaining. But his restaurants will have their bad reviews. That is just the way things work, unfortunately. Every restaurant you go to will run the risk of disappointing you. It's just sad when it disappoints a lot of people. But we know Ramsay will bounce back. He always does. And heaven help the critics when he does. Ramsay versus Anton Ego. Right, so we've got a bit of egg on our faces. It turns out that there is another real-life version of the infamous Anton Ego from the delightful Disney movie called Ratatouille. But we sort of see all food critics as Ego. So we're just going to move on real quick before things get awkward. A while back, Ramsay opened up a restaurant in France. He claimed that he was tired of the French saying that they, um, well, he didn't clarify who they were, so we're going to assume he means the chefs controlled by tiny rats. What up, Ratatouille reference? In true Ramsay style, he invited France's top food critic and made a big deal about his new restaurant. Because if it isn't featured in the news, is it really a Ramsay restaurant? Francois Simon, the famously waspish food critic, showed up with his invitation in hand. He sat down. A hush fell over the room. A nervous waiter brought his food out. The chefs hid in the kitchen. 
peeking out ever so often to see what he thought. He tasted the food bit by bit. He stared at everything with a frown and wrote notes in his little book. Then he politely dabbed his mouth and went on with his merry way. Everyone heaved a sigh of relief. They had done the best they could. They were sure that the restaurant had done well. After all, it had just been awarded two Michelin stars. And then the review was released. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well. He complained that the restaurant was pompous and that the food was bland and boring. Ouch. You can't see it, but we're cringing. Really hard. He said Ramsey might as well have bought a pre-cooked meal from the supermarket and heated it up for him. Double cringe. You know what? From this point on, we're going to sound a bell every time we cringe. Count them and let us know how many there were in the comments below. Okay? Ready? He accused Ramsey of opening hundreds of restaurants and copy-pasting the food. Ugh. He called it the Xerox of cooking. He also said, and we quote, Quite frankly, it's just another gastronomic restaurant. Boring, pompous, and very expensive. It was fine, but I'd already eaten the same thing in Tokyo and all his restaurants in London. Oh man, we're going to need to stop. I think the bell is broken. Love or hate him, Ramsay is here to stay. He may have made a few mistakes, but that shouldn't stop you from liking this video and subscribing to our channel.